He is known for his significant influence on the political reformation of modern China. He is recognized for inspiring Chinese scholars and activists with his writings and reform movements. His translations of Western and Japanese books into Chinese further introduced new theories and ideas and inspired young activists. His name is Liang Qichao. In the bustling streets of late 19th century China, a young and ambitious scholar named Liang Qichao emerged as a beacon of hope for a nation in need of change. Liang Qichao, a prominent Chinese politician, social activist, and intellectual, had a profound impact on the political reformation of modern China. His ideas and writings inspired a generation of Chinese scholars and activists, setting in motion a wave of transformation that would shape the course of the nation's history. Born into a time of political turmoil and social unrest, Liang Qichao witnessed the decline of the Qin dynasty and the struggles of a nation grappling with its identity. Inspired by the ideals of Western democracy and constitutional monarchy, he joined the reform movement led by his teacher, Kong Yuwei. However, when the movement was crushed by conservative forces, Liang Qichao found himself in exile in Japan, where he continued to advocate for political change. It was during his time in Japan that Liang Qichao's influence reached its zenith. Through his translations of Western and Japanese books into Chinese, he introduced new theories and ideas that sparked a fire of intellectual curiosity among young Chinese activists. His writings became a rallying cry for change, inspiring a generation to challenge the traditional social and political structures that had long held China back. While Yang Qichao held various positions within the government after the Revolution of 1911, his true impact lay in his role as a catalyst for cultural change. He advocated for the New Culture Movement, a movement that sought to modernize Chinese society through intellectual and cultural reforms rather than violent revolution. Liang Qichao believed that by embracing new ideas and shedding the shackles of outdated traditions, China could find its rightful place among the nations of the world. His contributions to the political reformation of modern China were not without controversy. Liang Qichao's emphasis on cultural change rather than political revolution drew criticism from some who believed that only a complete overhaul of the system could bring about true progress. However, his legacy as a visionary and a champion of intellectual freedom remains undeniable. As Liang Qichao once said, his thought had a significant influence on the political reformation of modern China. His ideas continue to resonate in the hearts and minds of those who seek a better future for their nation, forever leaving an indelible mark on China's political landscape. Liang Qichao, a prominent Chinese philosopher and scholar, was born in a small village in Xinhui, Guangdong Province on February 23, 1873. Raised in a family that valued tradition and education, Liang's father, Liang Baoying, instilled in him a deep appreciation for learning and the importance of ethnic rejuvenescence. At the tender age of six, Liang was exposed to various literary works, thanks to his father's classical background. By the age of nine, Liang's intellectual curiosity led him to start writing thousand-word essays. His passion for knowledge and thirst for learning propelled him to become a district school student soon after. Despite his humble beginnings, Liang's determination and dedication to education set him on a path to greatness. Liang's commitment to education extended beyond his own pursuit of knowledge. He had two wives, Li Huixian and Wang Guiquan, with whom he had nine children. Through his strict and effective approach to education, all of his children went on to become successful individuals. Notably, three of them became scientific personnel at the prestigious Chinese Academy of Sciences, including Liang Xichen, a prominent historian of Chinese architecture. Liang Qichao's philosophy on family and education highlights the transformative power of knowledge and the importance of instilling values in the next generation. His belief in the potential of education to shape individuals and contribute to the betterment of society resonates strongly in our daily lives. By recognizing the significance of education and fostering a love for learning, we can empower ourselves and future generations to achieve greatness and make a positive impact on the world. Liang's early life was marked by exceptional academic achievements. At the tender age of 11, he passed the provincial examination known as Xiuzai, showcasing his intellectual prowess. This early success set the stage for his future endeavors. Four years later, at just 16 years old, Liang became the youngest candidate to pass the Jiren, the second-level provincial exams. However, Liang's journey towards further academic success faced a setback. In 1890, he attempted the Jinshir, the national exams held in Beijing, but unfortunately, he did not pass. It is said that an examiner, possibly threatened by the heterodox ideas of Liang's mentor, Kang Yuwei, assumed that Liang's paper was Kang's and intentionally failed it. Despite this disappointment, Liang's passion for reform and his interest in Western political thought continued to grow. 
Liang's fascination with Western political thought was sparked by the book Illustrated Treatise on the Maritime Kingdoms, by the reformist Confucian scholar Wei Yuan. This ignited a deep interest in Liang, leading him to seek further knowledge from Kang Yuwei, who was teaching at Wanmu Chaotang in Guangzhou. Under Kang's guidance, Liang delved deeper into the study of foreign affairs and his desire to reform China intensified. In 1895, Liang returned to Beijing with Kang to attempt the national examination once again. During this time, Liang emerged as a leader of the Gongche Shangshu movement, advocating for reforms in the government. Despite his efforts, he was unable to pass the examination for the second time. However, Liang did not let this setback deter him. Instead, Liang remained in Beijing, assisting Kong in publishing domestic and foreign information. He also played a key role in organizing the Society for National Strengthening, where he served as secretary. Additionally, Liang was enlisted by the governor of Hunan, Chen Baozhen, to edit reform-friendly publications such as the Hunan Daily in the Hunan Journal. Through his early experiences, Liang Qichao's philosophy began to take shape. His determination to overcome obstacles and his commitment to reform demonstrate his resilience and unwavering belief in the need for change. Liang's story reminds us that setbacks are inevitable, but it is our response to them that truly defines us. As Liang himself once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This quote reflects his understanding that life is a continuous journey of growth and learning, where even failures can lead to new opportunities. Liang Qichao, a staunch advocate of constitutional monarchy, found himself discontent with the governance of the Qin government in China. He believed that change was necessary to improve the country's state of affairs. Alongside Kang Yuwei, Liang penned their ideas for reform and presented them to the Guangxu Emperor of the Qin Dynasty. This movement became known as the Wuxi Reform or the Hundred Days Reform, aiming to combat corruption and revamp the state examination system. However, their proposal caused quite a stir, leading to intense disagreement. Liang soon found himself a wanted man, as Empress Dowager Cixi, the leader of the political conservative faction, opposed the reforms and condemned the Hundred Days Reform as too radical. In 1898, the conservative coup abruptly halted all reform efforts, forcing Liang to flee to Japan, where he would spend the next 14 years. During his time in Japan, Liang fostered a close friendship with Inukai Tsuyoshi, a prominent politician and future Prime Minister of Japan. He continued to actively advocate for democracy, using his writings to garner support for the reformers' cause among overseas Chinese and foreign governments. Liang emphasized the significance of individualism and advocated for a constitutional monarchy, contrasting the more radical republicanism supported by the Tokyo-based Tong Menghui. While in Japan, Liang also played a significant role in supporting Fan Boy Chao, a prominent Vietnamese anti-colonial revolutionary. In 1899, Liang traveled to Canada, where he met Dr. Sun Yat-sen and others. He then journeyed to Honolulu in Hawaii before returning to Canada during the Boxer Rebellion. There, he formed the Chinese Empire Reform Association, which later evolved into the Constitutionalist Party, advocating for a constitutional monarchy. While Sun championed revolution, Liang advocated for incremental reform. In 1900-1901, Liang embarked on a six-month tour of Australia, aiming to rally support for the modernization of China through the adoption of Western technology, industry, and government systems. Liang saw the federation of the British colonies into the new nation of Australia as a potential model for China's diverse regions. During his visit, he received accolades from politicians, including a meeting with the first Prime Minister of Australia, Edmund Barton. Liang's journey continued to the United States in 1903, where he embarked on an eight-month lecture tour, culminating in a meeting with President Theodore Roosevelt. Liang Qichao's dedication to reform and his unwavering belief in the importance of a constitutional monarchy left a lasting impact on Chinese history. His efforts to combat corruption and push for institutional changes continue to inspire those seeking positive change in their own lives and societies. Liang's journey serves as a reminder that even in the face of opposition, perseverance and the pursuit of incremental reform can pave the way for a brighter future. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.